Hey guys, welcome back to another stencil tutorial. This time I want to look at how we can defend ourselves by performing a melee attack uh, on an object that comes at us. So assuming this uh, poisonous monkey uh, touches my uh, monkey, uh, that we can defend ourselves against this banana by killing it. So let's get started. Right, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import as an actor my melee weapon and I'm going to use a sword from my melee weapon. I'm going to import an animation and a frame. Scaling is one. And I just downloaded this sword uh, and made a few small modifications by rotating it. And there's my sword image. Okay, so the monkey's going to use a sword to kill the uh, banana. So uh, I'm going to add, actually, I'm going to add an extra control here. I'm going to make a A button. So when I click A, I want to perform my attack operation. And uh, when I input a keyboard, choose control. A. So when I press A, I want to have bring out the sword and attack with it. So we're going to create an actor. So I'm just going to drag this on. What actor are we going to create? We're going to create our sword that we just imported. Okay, so I'm just going to start this off at, um, uh, because I'm in my monkey right now, I'm going to grab the X coordinate of my actor. Y coordinate of my actor. Right, so I've got creating a sword at the X and Y coordinate of uh, the monkey. And what I'm also going to do actually is I'm going to create a separate grouping for my weapon. And I'm going to set this up right now. Create a new for uh, player weapons. Ah. And I want my player weapons to only be able to interact with my enemies. That way it will only kill my enemies and it won't do anything to the player. Okay, so I'm going to set up the sword to be a player weapon now. So that way, even if it collides with my player, it won't do anything to it. Uh, I, will, I don't want my sword to rotate and I don't want to be affected by gravity. Uh, the collision is okay. So. Uh, let's try this game out first. Uh, there's one more thing we'll need to set up, which is when the sword collides with the enemy, that the enemy dies. We'll be doing that shortly. So let's try this out first to see if the sword comes up. So there's a sword. Right, there's another sword. There's a few more copies of it, okay? So uh, what we're actually seeing is uh, we actually want to destroy or kill our sword after we create it. Okay, so let's go back and do that. So after the sword is created, we can do a timed event or a timed control. So do after uh, maybe about half a second. We can then kill not our monkey, but the last created actor. Okay, we'll try that out one more time. Okay, so it's kind of working, kind of see the idea that the sword is there. Okay, we can use uh, some X and Y points to move it around as well. And actually, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to have it when it's updating. I want my sword, oh, actually, it's in wrong place. I want my sword to follow the monkey. So, uh, I'm going to do that here. Create an updating event. So I want to set the X coordinate of myself to X position of an actor. And I'm going to set the Y coordinate of myself. 
And actually, um, there should be a quick way we can pull our actor. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to create a game attribute. So I'm going to create a monkey X. Create another attribute as well. Monkey Y. Now they're not showing up right now. So uh, but they are here. So what I want to do actually is I always want to do an update event here. So I'm just going to set monkey x and y to the x and y coordinates of this actor. And then we're going to use that game attribute later on in our sword. Let's see if we can access it or not. Great. So I'm going to set the x coordinate to monkey x. Set the y coordinate to monkey y, okay? And remember that we're always setting these monkey x and y values to wherever the monkey is. So the sword will appear to follow the monkey. Uh, last thing we'll do, let's also add in our uh, collision event. So when a banana collides with, so when a banana collides with a sword, we want to kill the banana, kill ourselves. Okay, not ourselves, but the, the banana. Okay, let's see this in action. Okay, select my monkey, and so there's my sword. Right, so the sword needs to probably be a little bit lower so they actually collide with each other. Otherwise, our monkey could get killed. So uh, when we create our sword, actually, I'm just going to change that to create or attack with sword, let's say. Attack sword. So I'm just going to lower the Y coordinate a little bit. I'm going to increase that by maybe about 50 units. Head back. Let's test your game one more time. Okay, select my monkey. Right, it hasn't really moved down. Ah, okay, because it's always set to be a little bit lower. So uh, actually, I'm going to set this. I have to increase this Y coordinate. So let's take this out here. This actually doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, right, so the Y coin is always going to be a little bit more or a little bit lower than where the monkey is. Right, hopefully this works now. Right, there we go. So the sword has killed the banana, and if we reload it, if we run into our banana or touch it, before we push that, our monkey is dead. Right? So that concludes our tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next time.